Libra. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody's doing great. We're going to do your almost personal reading here in a moment. Just um, a few things here before we get started. Uh, everything's in the description box. I'm just going to point out that if you want to enter my personal reading giveaway, details are below. Also, how to contact me if you'd like a personal reading. And then lastly, I have started posting to my Meditation Relax Calm channel again. All those details are below. So with that, let's just get started. I'm going to pull some Hidden Truth Oracle cards here. These are messages from your person. Uh, you know, this is really what they're thinking here, truthfully. Okay, <laughs> first card out. I hide behind material things, okay? So money or material things may be important to this person, right? Ego, ego probably plays into that as well. We have, I knew exactly what I was doing. And we have, uh, it was my fault, but I blamed you. And then we also have here, I remember every detail of that day. Okay, so this last card can mean different things. Um, I'm going to say I feel for a lot of you that it could be, you know, some sort of conflict, maybe an argument. Some of you maybe even a breakup um, because, you know, we got it was my fault, but I blamed you. I'm also going to say here, too, this could be very positive, right? This could mean that um, this person here, right, remembers the very first day they met you, right? A very happy experience. And there may be something here that they're feeling guilty about, right? Something that maybe they feel they messed up with, okay? And, or something that they didn't do that, you know, they're realizing now wasn't right because they said, I know I've done something. Um, I knew exactly what I was doing. Okay, and as I said, probably came from ego. Okay, so let's see here um, what the tarot has to say. We're going to see what is this person thinking or feeling about Libra. What is this person thinking or feeling about Libra? Okay, so we got the Three of Pentacles. We have the Empress. We have the Fool card. And we have the Seven of Cups. Okay. All right. And the King of Cups. Well, they're definitely in their feel, their feels about you. They're in their emotions about you. I feel like this is someone, you know, they're looking at the possibilities I feel here with you. They're having some mixed emotions. Um, but I feel like this is someone who wants to be able to communicate with you. I feel that this person wants to work on this connection. Um, it feels like they're willing here. They want, they want to, they're feeling called to do this, okay? They wanna take that risk, that leap of faith, even if they messed up in the past is what I'm getting here. So I feel like a lot of emotions are surfacing for this person. It definitely shows me here that they have love for you. You do have the Knight of Swords here around the bottom of the deck and the Hierophant. So their higher self, I feel here, is telling them to come towards you here, all right? Coming towards you with communication. I feel like um, a lot of you, you know, there's something that they want to talk about, they want to discuss, they want to work out because I feel like they're feeling bad or they're feeling guilty about what has happened here, okay? And I'm going to say, it could even be some of you, you know, if this is somebody new, it may even be something that you don't even know they did. And now they, you know, they, they want to tell you about it. You know, it, it's going to be different for everyone, but... I'm going to actually, before we start, I'm going to clarify, um, we're going to go to their upcoming actions, but I want to clarify why the Seven of Cups is here. Okay, so we have the Six of Wands, we have the Eight of Wands, okay, and we have the Queen of Wands, and yeah, again, uh, the Hierophant here, okay. For some of you even too, this could be uh, you know, there could be different beliefs here, okay, in religion or just uh, how you believe maybe a relationship should be or something like that, okay? But I feel that their higher self is telling them to come towards you. We have strong Taurus energy. We also have here strong 
uh, Libra energy. We have the Six of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so they may be feeling, you know, um, a couple things here. They may have mixed emotions, as I said, about reaching out to you or I also see here this person envisioning a conversation with you taking action here right getting to the place that they want to be with you okay uh, with that six of wands energy so they're hoping for a victory here they're hoping that uh, you're going to be open to communicating they know I feel like this person knows that the ball is in their court so to speak um, so let's see what their upcoming actions are towards you. What's this person's upcoming actions towards Libra? Okay, we got the Seven of Swords. We have the Hangman. We have the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Tower. Interesting. Okay, here we go. Yeah, and we got the Page of Wands here. So, I feel like you got someone here um, with the Seven of Swords. They're trying to uh, kind of strategize, right, how they can communicate with you, whether you're going to be receptive here, right? They have a bit of ego here, okay? So, I feel like, too, your person uh, with the Seven of Swords is someone who wants to try and avoid... Uh, I definitely get a non-confrontational energy with your person. So they want to avoid conflict is what I'm feeling there. Okay. So there may be certain things that they are, may try to avoid to talk about when you talk with this person. You have the Empress and you also have here the Hangman. All right. So I feel like this person here, it feels like there could be, you know, maybe the situation has kind of been at a standstill or there hasn't been a whole lot of movement here or communication with this person. But I feel like it's almost like that light bulb goes on, okay? And they see, right, how uh, worth it you are there, okay, as the Empress. And so I sense here that that's where the change happens, right? The light bulb goes on you know, their higher self is telling them to communicate with you, to reach out to you. You got the wheel here and you also have here the tower. So I feel like what's going to happen is some of you, maybe you, you don't feel like you're going to get communication, but it's going to happen when you least expect it here. Okay. With this page of wands, I'm going to just clarify though. Let's see why the tower is here. It also can be here too, with that wheel that they want to rebuild trust with you, right? Uh, maybe what happened in the past, right? That there's not a very strong foundation with you and this person, but let's see why is the tower here, please? Why is the tower here, please? We got the Four of Pentacles. We have the Page of Swords. And we have the King of Pentacles and bottom of the deck. Here we have the Four of Swords. All right, let's see here. You know, I'm almost getting here. It's almost like... Um, this person right they're trying to envision the possibilities here they've been having mixed emotions um they it definitely feels like um either you've had some on and you know sporadic communication or this person has held back from communicating but i feel like this person here has been spying on you here okay and i almost get the energy here that um this could be somebody coming back around, like I said, to, to regain your trust. I even feel like this could be somebody wanting to offer something here, but I'm hesitant, right, with this, with this page of wands, okay? So I see communication, but I'm also picking up too, Libra, if you're dating, they could find out you're dating. That could be the shock to them too, but let's see, um... So I feel like you're going to get some communication from this person, but they're going to, they're going to, um, they're doing all they can to figure out what you're doing. What's this person's intentions coming towards Libra? Okay. The chariot, Cancerian energy. And after this, we will, uh, 
pull the potential outcome in some love notes. Eight of Swords, Five of Pentacles, and we have the Six of Wands. Okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Seven of Wands. So you may have given this person the cold shoulder is what I'm getting. So I feel basically right with that chariot and that six of wands. They're hoping for a victory here. They're hoping that you're going to be open to working on this connection, working things out. Um, it does feel like this could be someone who did something, you know, that wasn't right or not in good intentions with you. And so, you, you know, Right now, they can't get that off of their mind. They can't get that off of their conscience. And they want out of the cold, right? Uh, maybe even feeling you're leaving them behind. Like I said, if some of you are dating, they may even, you know, they may find out that you're dating and uh, that was kind of a shock to them. But uh, their intention here, I feel, is they want your attention again, <laughs> really. Uh, and they want to be able to overcome the challenges and the obstacles the two of you had in the past. Some of you may have even blocked this person. And, and I feel like, you know, they, they, they don't like that. They want your attention again, really is what I'm seeing here. So let's see what the possible outcome is here in the situation. And then we'll get some love notes. What's the possible outcome of the situation here for Libra and this person? Okay, Ten of Wands. Nine of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they're still hooked on you, uh, Libra. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, yeah, here they come. Here they come. They want an opportunity again with you. Okay. They want an opportunity with you here. They're not giving up. Okay, I don't feel like this person's giving up. They're still very much attached to you. They want to hold on to you. Got the Knight of Swords here as well. And here they come running towards you. Okay, and especially if you're dating, they're going to find out about it or they may have already found out about it and that's going to make them come sooner. And you have the Ace of Wands and you also have here the Two of Cups. So they have love for you. There's mutual feelings. Okay, but you always have free will and choice, Libra. So some of you, right, may not, may wish to continue to block them. I don't know. Let's see what the love notes are from your person. Okay, I regret walking away. Parts of me are broken and I'm afraid that I might hurt you if I show you them. I know I keep giving you mixed signals. I know I can be hot and cold. And then you have here, you are my two of cups. You are my soulmate. Okay. This is so hard for me. I am struggling. All right, Libra. So Libra, I hope uh, you enjoyed this reading. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.